Right, well, in outcome six, then, know how to prepare self and gym and equipment for a gym based exercise program. 6.1 Outline the organisation's guidelines for replacement of equipment. Well, yeah, tell your supervisor or the owner of the gym. Yeah. Yeah, we just, just basically said it. Then. You're going to keep that sign. out of order signs. Make sure everything's clearly labelled so everyone can see it. So there's no chance of a client going And no one can take it off. That's why you should laminate the sign and tie it on so nobody can really rip it off. You can mm -hmm. go on a blue tack it on. So make, sure, make sure you're telling all your clients how long it's going to be out yeah. of order for as well. That's keeping it professional. Good. 6.2 Outline the manufacturer's guidelines for the checking and maintenance of cardiovascular and resistance training machines. Again, tell the supervisor if anything's wrong. Yeah. Call everyone and check if uh, all the machines are working in good order and uh, that nothing is faulty or broken. Fine. 6.3. Describe how to prepare a range of cardiovascular resistance machines and free weights for use, including weights, barbells, dumbbells, collars, benches, and protective formats. So just give an example for each. For a different format they can use. So yeah, so cardiovascular machines. So, so how might you prepare them then? And make sure they're all fully uh, all maintained properly before you use them. They're all clean. So what health and safety things might be needed to use when somebody's on a cardiovascular machine? Or a treadmill. No, they're not going stupidly fast in the car, you know, like overweight guy just turns his right up. Yeah. He's not gonna fly off. Okay. <laughs> and then what and then what do they put on themselves as well? They put a clip on. Clip on as well. Good. Resistance machines. So how might you prepare them? No or machines. Resistance. Yeah. So things like lap pull down, chest press. Make sure that people don't put uh, too much weight on. Uh, everyone's all the forms correct as well, so they're not swinging about everywhere and just keeping everything stable. Free weights. Yeah, it's it's the same again. Everything put back. Put away. When you're on a barbell, you put the collars on the side, so you've got no chance of the weights flying off each side. Yeah. And again, maybe a spotter on a bench press, a squat, especially in your big compound movements, and uh, maybe a matted area as well. Keep yeah. everything safe. Keep your structure, your, your floor all. Uh, what about when you're taking weights off, a, say, a bench press? It's going, to be, it's going to be wanting to bend your knees, keep back straight. When you're picking up any weights, I'll take any weights off. What else sometimes can happen? If you take all the weights off one side because it... Oh, yeah, yeah, we've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Really okay, so make sure you're aware of different the weights on each side. Yeah. Make sure clients are aware of that as well. Good. That's one of the common ones. So that's barbells, really. Dumbbells, you said collars. We've talked about floor mats, fine. Describe how to safely store free weight equipment 6.4. Store the dumbbells on a dumbbell rack. Yep. Or barbells on a, on a rack so they're not in the way and there's not really a chance of falling over them. Or You're going to use your toaster racks or your weight trees to put all your different plates on as well to keep them off the floor. So there's no risk of just Put signs out, remind them. people. Yeah, to put yeah. the free weights yeah. away. Good. Um, go on. And keep them in a safe mind area so in, yeah. in a spacious environment. 6.5, identify what to look for when checking equipment. Uh, if it's faulty, again, if any equipment is uh, not in proper working order. Or oh, the barbells, sometimes they come loose at the end. Yeah. You're tie them back, uh, fix them back on. You're making sure you f all, your, all your resistance keeps running smoothly as well, so when you when you're making repetition it's not stopping or yeah. stalling on its way up and down. Describe safe manual handling techniques. So just tell me how you pick up a weight off the floor. You have to be facing yourself forward, back bend straight. your knees, keeping your back straight. Bend your knees. Yeah. Good. If it's really heavy, make sure your breathing's right as well. Okay. I'll get somebody to help you. Somebody to help you. Yeah. All right. 6.7. Describe the importance of health and safety in the facility and paying close attention to possible hazards. So what, just give me three hazards that might happen in a gym. Uh, wet floor from uh, wet floor. water bottles being spilled. Fire again. Fire exits. Uh, a free weights landing on someone's feet, tripping over free weights. Uh, treadmill. Treadmill again. Yeah. Yeah. Speed on treadmills, good. 6.8, outline the types of hazards that may occur in the facility and how to identify and deal with these. Is that what we've just done? Well, in case of a fire. Similar. That may occur in the facility. 
Right, so, so how would you deal with those hazards? Well, such as a fire, obviously you want to be everything clearly labelled, your fire exits <coughs> clearly shown, easy to access mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, yeah, nothing put in the way of the fire exit. So what would you do if a client spilled his drink on the floor? Pretty obvious. Just straight yeah, mop it up, or, or a sign up. at least. Mop it up, yeah. signs, good. Um, 6.9, describe reporting procedures for health and safety. So we've covered this already, yeah. really. But yeah. reporting procedures, probably yeah. have an in like could have an incident book, incident a book. book. Just Good. Keep, keep yeah. track of everything that's gone on, so you've got something to refer back to. Yeah. Uh, if it's ser if it's really serious, phone in. Obviously, another professional, whether it's nine nine nine, or just someone else who's obviously more qualified to deal with the situation. Yeah. Or your manager. Man yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Six point ten. Explain how to ensure an instructor is fully prepared to instruct gym-based exercise. Make sure that the uh, instructor is, uh, has first aid, is first, first aid trained. Yep. In case of any even small injury, the cut or something. Mm -hmm. Or to see if, uh, make sure that he's fully qualified to lead you in the gym and that he knows the correct technique and knows what he's doing. Which other awards might have? So he's got health and, uh, he's got first aid. Have his he's got his nutritional awards gym. as well. Got nutrition awards, health and safety qualifications. Linked him with his course. Okay. Good. 